What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, a huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. Anchor is the number one charging brand in America and provides a wide range of products in power bank, charger, audio, and computer interface. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Anchor 521 portable power station. It features a high-speed USB-C port that can charge an iPhone 12 over 20 times. It also has a car outlet right here, a normal wall socket here, and two USB ports. So you can virtually charge anything. The Anchor 521 portable power station has a lithium ion battery that lasts six times longer than conventional batteries. And the best part is this thing recharges in just two and a half hours. And on top of all that, it even has a built-in light. I absolutely love taking my Anchor portable power station if I'm going camping, on a hunting trip, on a fishing trip. Literally, you can take this in the duck blind, charge your phone, recharge camera batteries. Literally, anything can be done with this bad boy right here. So if you guys wanna have portable power anywhere you go, go ahead and click the link down in the description, down below, and pick yourself up an Anchor 521 portable power station. Huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's videos. Brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Come on, go get him, go get him, go get him. We are starting the day off with my boy Rick, my boy Dale, and big boy Ralph. How you doing, Ralphie? You want to school? Yeah, Banjo's back. Look at Banjo. He's hanging out. What you think, buddy? You having a good day today? Well, we are going to build. Wow, build. Why did I say it like that? We're going to be building some stuff. Not really for you. Ralphie. Today is not your day. We're not building stuff for you today. We will build stuff for you later this week. Dale, we've got a big project planned. Are you excited about it? Hey, don't eat the merch. It's fire merch, buddy. Calm down. Big, exciting adventure today. This is one of those, like, 50-50. 50% it could turn out and be like, wow, this is sweet. 50% could be like, why did we just waste our day? Yeah. Because this is kind of what happened to the, the duck farm. We built a big sliding door, and uh, it didn't slide. So I had to hire somebody to go fix it and build me something better. So, again, Beefcake Construction LSC is uh, going to attempt to put a door on that big shed right down there. Something I've been waiting to do for years. I've lived here over, t Ralphie, settle down. I've lived here over two years and I've always wanted a, do a door there because then I can lock it up. I can put my nice equipment in there. Was that the goose? I forgot about him. Carl, what was his name Carl? Yeah. Carl. Carl don't say much anymore. So we are going to be building, Beefcake Construction LLC is going to be building a sliding barn door. Keep the raccoons out. You know how many times I've walked in there and seen Oh yeah, you had a dispatch one. I forgot yeah. about that. Banjo was taking care of taking care of the animals when I was out of town and he's like, hey, I just shot a raccoon. I was like, where are you? He's like, in the shed. And I was like, oh, so he like squ squared up the raccoon. <laughs> And there's like <laughs> holes in the barn now and we can't be having that anymore so it's again as i acquire more and more stuff which is just a terrible habit of mine it's not really a habit it just it just kind of happens i'm needing more and more space to store stuff so we you know we revamped the shed down at the duck farm completely ready to rock and roll we're going to load it up with you know the boats and the trailer some extra equipment same thing with this this thing i'm probably going to put i'm thinking my mini excavator last year i did my mini excavator and skid loader and then the mice were really bad in there which putting a door on it should hopefully help with that too maybe a little bit so we are going to uh, attempt to put a door on but first we got to take care of look at these guys they're, they're all cute they're patiently waiting to get to get their feet and then we also updated we're, we're in like the well kill deer kill duck era of the year but we're also in the like oh shit, it's about to get cold we better start like fixing stuff up uh that we've neglected all winter or all summer getting ready for winter um and so we're kind of getting the barns ready we're getting the water systems ready because now we can't have the automatic water system because it's cold now and i'll show you we did like a little updated feature it was, it was all up here with me but then pop beefcake executed it when i was gone so we'll go show you that but for now ralphie is getting pissed so let's get these guys fed lucy it's not for you buddy hey go get it ralph you know what Beefcake Construction LLC did that isn't just a total show? Our bunks. About the only thing. About the only thing. Check out these bunks we built. They're freaking, they're phenomenal so far. I don't know what the winter's gonna have to say about it, but like they work great. Look at these suckers. It's a perfect little feed bin so they don't have to eat it off the ground. Isn't that right, Rick? Look at that. Look, room, room for the whole fam. So that's the one thing we did build that wasn't just a total waste. Let's go feed the other side. All right, animals are fed. Let's go inside and show you guys the new water system. Chew inside the animal pen. Well, everything's 
getting fed, taken care of. So check this out, Bancho. I was thinking, I'm like, remember last year we just let overflow and it just made an ice rink here? Oh yeah. I'm bad. like, how could we get it from one bin to another? Well, bam, there you have it. Little PVC pipe water action. Water slide. It's a little water slide. So you fill up this bin and when it, yeah, go ahead and pull that thing. So it's gonna take actually quite a little bit. So the idea behind this is to have two bins. Now, we really should just go buy another one of these big daddies and stick it here, but I just was trying to like save money. But, uh, the, cause normally we have it on automatic water. And you know, see that big ass camel over there? Yeah, he likes to freaking drink. So, you know, that was, what you, the levels here, these were both full yesterday. So that shows you how much, I mean, they're drinking ungodly amounts of water. So we really should probably just get another bin. I mean, shoot, you could, you could sit here and freaking waterfall yeah. them all the way down if you really wanted to. But I'm thinking maybe buy one more big one. So that way it's just there. The other option would be to buy a big one, put it over there in that corner and just fill it with the water hose like once a week, once every other week, just as like a backup. Because also these extension cords like to just like not do extension cord things and work. And so we could have power run from the shed to another one. So that way if these do freeze and I don't come down here for one day, odds are the other one probably is working as well. I doubt both of them would go out the same time. Have you time. seen the TikTok where I think it's a milk jug? I don't know if they fill it like half with water or whatever, but it's like, it like bounces on the top. So and it keeps it open. it open? Really? You do it for like the backup. Have still the heater. Really? Yeah. So a milk up, jug bounce? It kind of like, it floats. And it just moves just and enough? It's just on the top and it just floats. Really? It kept it open. I don't know if it actually works. I might have big though. TikTok farm guy. So maybe TikTok might know something that I don't, I guess. So yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Because we've just, we've had some issues with that power box. We should be fixing. We put in some new outlets and it should be good to go. But I mean, you can tell there's extension cords. We're going to clean this up. There's, ex look at all the extension cords everywhere. It's just, it's, 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 it's a mess. We are going, not today. We don't have time. We need to go get started. Actually, Beefcake Construction LLC. Uh, Uncle Beefcake, Papa Beefcake, and Jake are here. They're out there working right now. So we got to go help them here in a minute. Um, but I, I just want to give you guys kind of an update on the animals. Everything's going on. You will see us in about a week or so. Hopefully make, or maybe even less. I mean, I don't even do this tomorrow. I mean, it's nice out. It's not cold yet. So that's kind of nice. We're going to re rerun all these wires. We're going to run them outside the fence, bring them in, like zip tie them or, or, you know, tack them to the fence. So that way this is, this is a tripping hazard. This is also a hazard. This is not good. We are going to get a legitimate gate put in right here. Like probably, uh, I don't know, probably a 10 footer, I guess. Uh, so we can actually, uh, like why I've just procrastinated these things. I don't know, but we really need to put like a legit swing gate here. So that way we can put all the animals on one side, get work done over here without getting trampled, vice versa. So we're going to rewire everything, get all the extension cords, clean up, clean up all the junk, the trash, the wood, which I feel like we do this, what, like once a month and all of a sudden somehow, somehow someone is driving down the road and just chucking in here because I swear like everything's all picked up but I think the, the, the picnic, picnic table, table collapsed. Rip. Yeah, our picnic table idea. Remember we picked it up with a skillet and we brought it in here and I mean like literally there's beer cans from before I was even born. I don't know where these things appear from. They just kind of come out of nowhere but you can see right there. Look at that. We need to get rid of that. Oh, we also need to board up the, yeah. the barns. That one will probably slide this barn out, scoop it out. So we've got like a whole day of just taking care of big boy Rick but not, Rick. not today. Maybe tomorrow while it's still nice out and not too cold. And I don't know who is throwing ceramic tile in here why? but like this whole thing is covered in tile and i don't know why i didn't put it here it was here when i got here i don't know why it's here but so we got to board up the barns we got to move the barns we got to scoop the poop you also do you see how much gravel's over there why why is there gravel i've never do you see all the gravel i've never put gravel over there in my life never so we, we've got a day's worth of cleaning stuff up putting indoors we already got the water situation figured out we've got the the feed in the water priorities we got those figured out obviously they've got hay they still have a little bit of pasture grass we pulled them off there for about four weeks and put them back on so they nibbled the rest of it back down. They've got nice feed bunks and all that. And like, so the water, oh, it's working now. Now you guys actually get to see what's going on. Look at that. It's perfect. Oh yeah. So you just let that go. And that way you just have that much more water before yeah. you have to refill it. So, I mean, that should, honestly, when it's full, full, I would say like, three, four days. So that way, if again, if I'm not able to come down here every single day, I mean, I, in the winter, I try to get down here every single day, just cause like, you never know when stuff's not gonna be working or running or something. You know, Dale hopped the fence, broke another femur again, like heaven forbid. So anyways, that is the update on these guys. Like I said, look forward to a big, just get done farming video, farm animal backyard farm video here soon in the next couple weeks. But for now, operation, put a door on the barn. Let's get it.
this up. That way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'll probably take yours to the left a little bit. All right, so you know. we're good to go. get done for lunch. banjo them girls out there paying big money for barn doors now like yeah. magnolia style you can go into bit we can start Let's beefcake barn door business and probably sell this for a lot of money cool. everyone's looking for barn doors. so all you haters out there said we're wasting wood look what we're doing we're, we're repurposing it because i know we we what are the the dogs are eating something what are they Oh, I hear Millie's crunching on bones. Millie. They found something. Now, check behind that blue pool. They were out there digging. Our dogs were eating hey. stuff. But anyways, you guys uh, always hating because we wasted a, wasted a bunch of wood. Because we ended up buying, I think, plywood instead of using some of this for the ceiling and the decking. So now, look, we got extra wood. And now we're building the barn door. I didn't really talk a whole lot during it, but it's very simple. This was supposed to be the roof, wasn't it? Because it wasn't tongue and groove. This was leftover cider. Your sh wasn't the siding's tongue and groove though no i'm pretty sure it's the roof it's, it's, roof. it's the roof so instead of doing this we use sheets of plywood which made it way easier than this so now way quicker way quicker but now this looks good because it looks like a nice barn door and we even got some trim we can make a little frame make the little x i mean we could paint it for board one day but it's gonna go hanging up right over there so that took i mean literally five minutes like no time whatsoever we're hoping that this thing isn't too oh it's not it's not bad it's nothing like it's nothing like the the duck farm door that we built i don't think it's that I've got like PTSD from heavy doors, so I'm just like, no, don't add any wood, don't add any wood. But we'll to, what did what'd they get? I think it was like a bird. I don't know. There's tons of feathers, but I couldn't tell what it was. So something must have drug it out there because I don't ditch the I don't ditch the birds there. I ditch I put the birds over in the animal pen. I don't know if it's a goose or a crow. It's not one of our birds, right? Pedro's still alive. No, you got something definitely died over there. There's really? tons of feathers. But oh, there's like meat on them bones. Yeah, that's not old. Ma Lucy. Where's Millie? Millie? Come here, Millie. Quit eating stuff, Millie. So there's a big hole, and then it's like in the hole there's feathers too. There. So it's like something got trapped there. Really? So you don't think it's like a bird we shot? I don't think so. Really? Just like natural. There's cost. feathers everywhere. Maybe maybe she could chow a bird. Yeah. Lucy, it's no. This is not a treat. Millie, quit killing everything. They're just like prowling around eating stuff. Anyways, so uh, do we figure out the middle, Jake? Uh. Gonna put one middle support. Long enough over there. What? How long is this sucker? This sucker looks stout. She built her a doghouse, huh? I'm no kidding. Did you like that? Selling banjo, we need to start beefcake barn door business. <laughs> these, all these magnolia girls would pay good oh, money for this. Gun. Carrying it now? I think we're ready. I'll be oh, in the house the if you need me. <laughs> I, I mean, it don't look as heavy as the duck duck farm one, so. Seriously, though. I don't think it's, it's that not, bad. It's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. We do have the skid loader just in case, but. All right, let's get to moving. Right, and then go two more inches. Okay, I think we're in. Go lift up, and you should be able to slide it right on through. Okay, we're in. We are all in. We got a door. Good deal. All you guys always hate and we always half ass everything so here we are putting a decorative x on it gotta make it look good so do you want me to throw this in the middle first or do you want to do the bottom first probably do the bottom and then that one at the top 
So what you gotta do is, if you're gonna go at the bottom, you go the full length and then the uprights would go in between mm -hmm. the top and the bottom, so those would be shorter. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna do the bottom and the top first, and then the yeah. sides, yeah, yeah. right? Stick the sides in. Math. Cross okay. So let's just so let's just do the bottom first. Would that would that make life easier? Yeah. yeah. We're ready. You like that when the ground's stuck in there? <laughs> Pull it out of pliers. It's just the ground. Yeah, Actually, you can. I did yeah. that once. Yeah, you can. It's just the ground. It. You know what? I'll just go back in. <laughs> Might as well reattach the ground while you're there. What's the ground good for? If that if that sucker works without the ground, why the f do I have a ground? I'm not an electrician. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good down here and hit it. It oh, won't hang on the bottom because it's twisted. You good? Yeah. There we go. You good? Yep. Okay. Can wasp up here. Yeah. Yep. Do 80 and a half. 80 and a half. 80 and a half. There it is. Like the top left corner needs to meet and then the bottom right corner has to meet where yeah. the... I say just you leave just it. Just don't even cut middle. it. You measure the middle of this board and mm -hmm. make a mark. Mm -hmm. And then you just figure out your slope of one and you do the slope of the you other. You said slope and lost me. It's a, I, I say just leave out. it. It'll look funny if it's just square. Out just leave it. It's just slightly past square because we're like 10 foot by 11 see, foot. The, the set, so you know like this, mm -hmm. your board, the middle of your board does not hit that. You pick an end. Yeah. And then hit it and then the, uh, the opposite end hits the next corner. Yeah. So you're good. You just you, flip it. Yeah, you we'll, flip, we'll get her done. Flip it? Like, like pancakes you cut, now? You cut this one, okay. but on this side you'd like flip it and you cut this one. Hey, we'll fit, we'll yeah, get it. We'll no get it. I can figure it I out. I say just leave it. It'd look funny. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just stack it. Just stack it. Like there's a gap like, yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> just just leave it. All right. That's ocean approved. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're supposed to, they're supposed to put the hinges on last. That, yeah, that hinges go over those. Over. And that would get us. And that would bump it out. Mm. That's what we... Like 109 and three quarters. All right, so you want to do it where we fit like that top corner runs you, right it, up. It's going to be top and then bottom's going to be the other one. We're dead on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moment of truth? Moment of truth. We didn't use math. We just started pulling boards up in places and started marking stuff. So let's see. Are we are we good? We're off a little bit. How's that look over at your end? Crappy or no? We're the angle's right. We're just uh, like this far. Short. Yeah, we we're about a half inch off, maybe a quarter inch. You'll ever see that. So I can cheat it on my end. Good? Yeah, looks good. Hey, no nails needed, buddy. I know, I'd say we just leave it like that. What you think? They may put some nails in there. You in right there? I'm in. We're literally on. Really? Well, sheesh. I feel like we did pretty darn good. I mean, it looks a off on that one. Yeah, it just a good. hair, but you wouldn't, you don't really notice that. You just notice like the middle. Hard I'm work. telling you, we can start selling this sucker. Yeah. It's just going to be a little crooked and off just a little bit, but it works. And so we're pretty much finishing up the inside of the Wolfspot beef cakes in there. We had it, we, they were sticking out too far, so we're kind of sinking them in there. But now it's structurally sturdy, yeah. building the frame, so it shouldn't have as much like play in it. And it shouldn't warp. That'll help with the warping too, as you know, it gets rained on and then dries off and swells in the summer and shrinks in the winter and all that stuff like that but overall i'd say we got a pretty darn nice barn door it raccoon proof i would say so there are holes in the barn though yeah, i mean like there's I'd more i'd say they're not gonna be able to fit closed i don't think they'd get in i don't think they'd be able to get in no i don't i don't think they would be able to this sucker looks freaking mint so before we get it completely done we have to trench this out it runs uphill a little bit we want it to be snug to the gravel so it looks good now we got to trench that out rake it all out and i'm going to put some gravel back in it and then to keep this sucker from swinging 
like that. We're just gonna put T posts along that way and that way it'll keep it. It just, so when you open it, it won't just go flying out. So let's get to digging. completed we got t posts here so this is to catch it in case katrina comes here pull, pull it out like katrina's coming oh, see yeah. see katrina oh. comes here now your door ain't because that's what happened on our other one down at the duck farm it blew out and bent up all the hinges so go ahead and slide her shut look at that Gee. oh yeah is so we made a little stopper over here too so we put in a little this backer here so that way the door has something to see how it just floats this has something to rest against and then this will stop it from going too far this way so it didn't go over the rails so when you want to shut it you just do that and then you're gonna have a latch so we'll have a latch that'll connect so it's it has something to press against and keep it solid and then this post right here will keep this end from getting flown out so go ahead and slide her open banjo let's see it you got it Sheesh. It's a pretty darn big door and it doesn't slide too bad. You got to use a little bit of oomph. You got it. Oh, it's just because you're hot. You're hopping rails. That's all it is. Yep. Look at that. Now we can lock her up, put in some valuable items, I guess. Probably not. But um, anyways, and then uh, we got the light put in there. Probably you've got the light in there. It's the first time we've ever had a light. So we're, again, we're taking what we have. Instead of building new barns, take the ones we have. Hire Beefcake Construction LLC. And... Uh, a donkey all right what's going on and uh, get the light going and we've got the power hooked up and whatnot so barn door is completed phase two of basically rehabbing the area down here is probably tomorrow we're going to go and redo all that which is button up the barns move the barns hay the barns get the electrical situated so we don't have any issues with that um, we don't need you know ralph stepping on extension cords and just getting it kind of cleaned up so that place is cleaned up and ready our storage facility that's going to you know keep out the you know the snow it could be blowing you know it could be super cold outside we can go in there and tinker with stuff and work on stuff and that's where we're going to keep our feed so that way you know the mice will probably still get in it a little bit we'll put a bunch of bait stations around but the uh, raccoons so banjo doesn't have to go you know firing around don't yeah. don't be firing around the nice barn door yeah. i'm serious that thing looks really good you guys were hating on us leaving the wood outside well guess what i made it rustic and i did it for free so you leave you leave your wood outside it looks nice you build your nice barn door like that and you'll be good to go so there you have it folks that is the project of the day like i said in the next few days you should see us work on the animals if you guys like these kinds of video let me know in the comment section down below they're you know they're just farm chores i feel like we always get caught up in killing ducks killing deer catching fish doing that thing hanging out with lucy but it's just like you know the work never stops around here and you know when you have a big project like this i try to take the camera along and document it but Lu lucy what you think buddy you like the barn door i say we build her a dog house i think she would like like a like a two-story so yeah. she can be up top millie can be on the bottom they can both look out i don't know where you'd put it but i feel like i feel like they, they need it for some reason they could use a dog house hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace